hello welcome to my channel this is ezekiel akimbala here you are welcome to in today's video i'd like to show you how to start up um with endnote how to make use of endnote and how to get it installed properly and also how to um make it show up on your um on your on your um on your microsoft word when you are um, trying to build your reference list now the reason for this the essence for the uh, essence of this video is to help you um, get a proper way to gather your references and be able to edit when you need to all the references and aside it helps you to put your reference in order in the proper format that is recommended if it is in upper format um, there are different settings you are going to carry um, you're going to make use of that will help your um, reference to be in that particular format that you have been given so let me without uh, further ado let me just take you into the video but first of all please if you enjoyed the video kindly make sure you subscribe to this channel and also make sure that you like the video and drop your comment below and most make sure you click on the notification bell to help uh, this channel to grow all right let's go i'll be attaching this particular list of folders i'll be creating a google drive link i'm attaching the particular folders they are installation of endnotes that will help you to um that this, this installation will help you to um with this installation will actually help you to uh, install endnotes i have the endnote x7 one of our lecturers gave it to us uh, it has been very important i've tried to explore all of them so for endnote 7 if you are using um uh, windows 7 i would advise you to use endnote 7 so if you are using any windows above that you can use endnote 8 uh, oh sorry use endnote 6 rather if you are using windows 7 endnote 6 so if you are using uh and windows 8 and 10 above you use x 7 8 and 9 i believe you get that so if 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 it's not clear please um you can send a chat to me i'll drop my number and you can also make drop your comment below to drop your questions so for instance this i um i would love to install this windows 10 i'm using i'll love to install windows 8 i have 9 already but i would love to install windows 8 just to show you how it goes so you double click on this particular uh windows installer and you keep clicking on next next accept next I accept the license agreement next and make sure you are not online please i will have to disconnect my supporter on the big yes next and the installation has started so you allow you accept that and installation is going on and it's it's going to be installed in three seconds one two and okay it's installing right now so let me pause the video so that when it's done so okay the installation is successful now so what we next we need to do is to open our microsoft word um the essence for of this is you are trying to um for the microsoft word we are trying to uh, make sure that it shows somewhere around here the sorry we are trying to make sure that the um, end note is showing up here. So after installation, sometimes it automatical it it automatical it shows up here automatically. Once you open up, once you restart your 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 system, it should show up here. Do we get it? Should show up here. End note X8 X whatever you are using, it should show up right here. So or meanwhile, you can also get it done from here. And these are these are the other steps. If it's not showing up here, so this these are the steps you are going to take. You come to file and you come to option. You can see option below here. You click on option. So in this option, you come to the add in option button. Add in. So in the add in button, um, and you come here to select the kind of add in you want to add. You want to add a word add in. So you click on go and you can see that endnote is selected here already endnote is selected here so once endnote is selected you click on ok i already have that done that's why i'm not i don't have to go through that stress again so once it's done 
uh, you might need to probably close your windows your microsoft and restart they should show up so kindly let me know if it doesn't work out for you and we'll make sure you get another way around that but that's just the way to go about it all right so once you're done with this then we are ready to go into endnote to explore i don't want this video to be too long so that's how to install your endnote on the, and to connect it your endnote with your microsoft word i hope this video has been very helpful and please check um, the video using the link above around here you're going to be seeing um, the first video i did on how to use google scholar and connect your google scholar with your endnote to be able to harness your references thank you very much i'll see you in the next video